Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is a short video showing people how to get taken specs and taken mods, read armor, read weapons without actually having to complete the raid. Now I know a lot of people know how to do this, but I said in my last video if people wanted it, I would make a, a quick video on how to do this. This is said quick video. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to, these are, these are the things you're looking for basically. You're looking for these mods. Taken Barrier, it's exactly the same as the Hive ones you get from the Menagerie, but they work with the Taken. They're really good for stuff like Gambit, Sharp Throne, Last Wish, and you can get this one, the Taken Spec. It increases damage against Taken by 10%, which is more than Transcendent Blessings does. Very, very good mod, and you get it from the, you can get it from these chests. You can also acquire raid weapons and raid armor. As I said, really good for the raid, really good for Gambit, Sharp Throne, all that type of stuff. So what you want to do is you want to select the Last Wish Raid. Now if you've ever been in, or for when you're going to get the second chest, you'll have a checkpoint, which means you'll have a little icon above your launch bar. If you hold your X or bottom button, or I think it's X on both, X and A, I think, or square and... But I don't know what button it is. If you press the button it tells you to press, you'll reset your checkpoint. And then you'll start here. You'll start at the very start. So reset your checkpoint if you have one. If not, just launch. You'll land there. The door will be closed. It will open. And then you'll have some dialogue and this entrance opens. Like I've said, guys, I know a lot of you guys know this. This is kind of maybe old news to some people, but some people don't know how to do this. So public service, I suppose. Once you jump in here, we're going to go to a thing called the Wall of Wishes, which is a wall with 20 kind of circles on it. You shoot the circles you go through a range of different symbols and you have to have this, the pattern of symbols that I'm going to show you on the screen. So just get ready to put, if you're doing this as you're watching the video, get ready to pause so that you can see or take a screenshot or do whatever. Just that is, these are going to be the, 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 the symbols you need to have and the order you need to have them to get the checkpoints. So what's going to happen is you're going to make those uh, wishes they're called you're going to you're going to get the the symbols in the right order and then you're going to stand in the center there's a a circle in the center you're going to stand in that and it will teleport you to the checkpoint you've chosen now there's four i've put four wishes in this video two for checkpoints to get chests one for a secret em emblem and one to get you a like a a bonus a, a ethereal key now you can only get it once, so the next time you, if you've never done this, the next time you beat the last wish, if you put this wish in first, you will get a spare key, to uh, an extra key to open up a chest, more chance of the thousand voices. So this is, la this is the wall of wishes, as you can see there's 20 circles, this is the first set of symbols you want. Now a little hint tip here, don't use a weapon that has explosive rounds because it affects a lot of, a lot of the symbols around it. Once you've once you've got them, once you've got that, you step on it will it was it's like it's killed you, but you spawn at Shivochi. This is the first checkpoint. This is the first chest. So what we're gonna do? I've got um, I've got Stompies on. So the hunter, uh, all classes can do this first chest. Unfortunately, all classes can't do the second chest. So we'll, we'll talk about that when we get to it. So you jump all the way up here, and once you're at the top, jump across onto the bridge. You know, unfortunately, I didn't get any Taken mods in the video, but my Taken mods, all of them, none of them came from completions. All the completions I've had on Last Wish, I've never had a mod. I always get them from these chests. And you can do them on all three characters after reset. You know, so every reset, you can do this again three times and get raid weapons, raid armor. Now, my advice to you, if you have more than one character, is come in with a friend. And basically piggyback off each other. So once you get this chest, as you can see, you drop down here and the chest is in here. Make sure your friend is the fire team leader. You can leave, switch character, and rejoin him again and get the chest again. You can both keep doing it to each other. The chest will stay here for a, a fair amount of time. This is the second set of symbols. So basically you go to your orbit, reset your checkpoint, rinse and repeat. But this one can only be accessed by a Titan. No, the Warlock can do it, but the Warlock's way of doing it with the, the, the Dawnblade Super is quite difficult. This one's very, very simple. So the Titan comes in, you've got a, uh, 
you've got a catapult jump on and a sword, so you jump all the way up, sword, so it's boost, cut off, sword, boost, cut off, sword, and just do that all the way across. Because you've got the, as you can see, you've got line rampants on, because you've got the line rampants on, because you're boosting a little bit and cutting off, it's giving you a little bit of boost back. You can actually do this all the way to the chest, but we're not going to do that because we're quite high up. We're going to hit the ceiling in a minute. You can, as you can see, I've hit the ceiling and I hit it again in a minute. But as you can see, if you just keep following the, the same pattern, boost, cut off, sword. If you just keep doing that, you'll be fine. And that's us over the other side. Now, <clears throat> if, you're friend, if, if you're not a Titan, but you've got a friend that is a Titan, I'm going to show you where he needs to go so you can join him. If you're a Titan and you've got friends that don't have Titans, I'm going to show you what to do. So you've got a crossroads here. To the right is the chest, but I'm going to take you left first. This is where you need to go for people to join you. Or if, if it's your friend that's, that's the Titan, this is where he needs to go for you to join him. So you go all the way down here. You need to go back, all the way back, so you get to the start of the last area. If you join that player there, then you, you'll get this checkpoint. You'll be able to, you'll be able to uh, get this chest. Sorry. So you go all the way back through this door, and then it will say the first spire. Once it says the first spire, you are in the correct area. Who, if the Titan will wait here, if it's you or your friend, and everybody can join them here, and they'll spawn here. If they join outside of this, if they join up at the other area, they'll spawn up at Morgoth, uh, Morgoth and, and they can't get the chest. So once you spawn in, you go all the way back up. So you basically jump on this tree, round the tree, up onto the branch, over onto the, the balcony. As you can see, up onto this branch, and then up onto this balcony. Go to your left, jump across through the doorway, all the way back the way we came. So as a, I would suggest a scout rifle without, for, for the ball of wishes, a scout rifle without uh, without explosive rounds, uh, heavy machine gun, all that type of stuff. Stuff with lots of rounds. If if you do overshoot it, it, it doesn't matter. You just, it, it'll take a bit more ammo, a little bit more time, but then you can just, so that the symbols change as you shoot them. So every time you shoot them, they change. Make sure you've got the right one. The one that I would suggest people watch out for is the bird. There are two, there's a bird on a branch and a bird looking over its shoulder. One's completely dark and the other one isn't. So just be, when you're looking at, at the symbols that I've, that I've showed you, speak, make sure you've got the one that, not the one that looks similar, the exact same one. And then if you jump up that tree, up onto that, over here, you've got another chest. And from this one, I think I got the Chattering Bone. And that, that actually come with Outlaw and Open and Shot, so it's pretty good. So that's how you get these chests, guys. The last two things I'm going to show you is the symbol and the, the, the etheric key. This is for the symbol. And basically, you put that in, step on the plate, and you'll get it. And the next one is for the, the key. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope this has helped you a bunch. And I'll see you in the next video.